Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be creating the Start Today Journal by Rachel Hollis. And yes, if you are curious, she does sell these booklets. However, they are not always available. So she does encourage that if you are not financially at a point where you can buy one, that you can create your own. And that's exactly what I did here. Now I did start off with a vision board just because I love really setting the tone visually as well for where I want my life to go. So I just took a bunch of different magazines, cut out things that spoke to me, and then taped them in here in the booklet so that I can look at those whenever I need some inspiration, reminders, meditation on where I see this life going. And then I did a bit of an opening page. Now, first thing that you do in creating these is writing down where you see yourself in 10 years. What are you doing for work? Where is your life at? Where are you staying? How many kids do you have? What does everything look like for you? What do you eat in a day? How do you exercise? Whatever it may be and really jotting those down. Then after you've gotten all those narrowed down, you are going to be writing 10 dreams that you made happen. So this is really taking that big collage of ideas and making it into what are the 10 things I need to make happen in order to be in that life I see 10 years from now. So you are going to write them down as if you had already achieved it. One of mine is that I want to run a half marathon. So I write down every day I ran a half marathon. Another one is eating super healthy. So I write down every day I consistently eat healthy. So it's really just about putting yourself in the mindset as if you're already doing it because honestly, there is power in the words that you use and it will make it seem like you can get it quicker because you are telling your subconscious mind you already have it and you start to believe it. Now this is the portion that you're gonna be using on a daily basis. In the top portion, it says, today I am grateful for and you will write down five things that happened in the last 24 hours that you are grateful for. Do this every day. You'll be amazed with what gratitude you find around the world. And really try not to copy the same big things every day, right? Like I love my family and I love my job. Really hone down on the small things because they give you a lot more meaning when you consistently find that beauty in the world. And then every day you are gonna write down your 10 dreams that you are working on. Yes, it sounds repetitive, but it works wonders because you tell yourself every day that you have done those things and it will really empower you forward to the rest of your life. The last thing you're gonna write down is the goal you are going to achieve first. And this is the one goal that is maybe not as big as the other ones, but something that is achievable, not even necessarily within 30 or 90, 60 days, but at some point you are able to tackle this and can work towards it. Mine right now is I want to be monetized on YouTube and I am actively pursuing a different steps in making that happen. But that is my primary focus. However, all my other dreams are still going along with me because I focus on them on a daily basis. Now, as we saw in the beginning of the journal, where do you see yourself 10 years from now? I actually went ahead, sat down. I had set a timer for 30 minutes because I really wanted to take the time to write everything that came to mind. Now, I will also say when I was doing this, I really didn't care about spelling. English is also my second language. So yes, there's some spelling errors. However, the important thing is getting the thought into paper and where you really see yourself. And once that is done, you will write down your 10 goals from there, your 10 dreams. And that is what I'm continuing flipping back to here as I am writing my first gratitude log that I have now done on a daily basis for over 30 days. I do find that I'm able to find gratitude more easily in my day-to-day -day life. And I am really excited and passionate about the 10 things that I write down. Now know that they may shift. You can definitely change your ideas of what your 10 dreams are because maybe your dream changes. And so I think it's really important to make this your own. I will also say Rachel Hollis has a podcast that I will link in the description below that walks you through exactly how to do this in her words, which is honestly the best way to go about it and how I created mine. 
So please go check that out from our master. But this is just something that I have found gives me so much joy and gratitude in my day to day. And I hope that you found this helpful. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below as I would be happy to answer those. Now you may ask what type of journal that I used and I honestly just used a bullet journal on here so it is a dot grid but really you can use anything. You can use a notebook, you can use a post-it note. It's really up to finding something that works for you. The important thing is just doing this on a regular basis so that you're finding gratitude consistently and also really thinking about where you see your future life. Now normally when purchasing the actual Rachel's Hollis Start Today journal, those are for 90 day logs. And from what I can see in this bullet journal, which is kind of a standard journal book size, I would say I can probably fit about six months in here. So I'm kind of excited about that. But I definitely do want to make sure that I can get a hold of one of her journals because I just find them so inspiring. I will also say it is a bit time consuming to go in and create the designs that I have been doing on a regular basis. But to me, it's just so worth it. I love the pastel colors, the consistency in it, and it just brings a smile to my face, which is another thing to be grateful for. Again, when you're in this practice, you are really finding gratitude in a ton of different things that you do. Is it the way that the kids laugh in the morning, that you had a great coffee, that you woke up on time, you got your paycheck early, whatever it may be, there are so many things to find gratitude in. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you do have any questions, please make sure to comment. I will definitely do my best to answer those. Also, if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe and like this video as I have new content coming to you every week. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys next week.